brothers and sisters, welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today, we are celebrating the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Rene Paglinawan, OAR. Let us all stand. Glory to the newborn King, be honored and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord, late in time behold him come, offsprings of a virgin's womb, build in flesh the God and see, heal the incarnate Jesus man with man to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel, heart the hair of angels sing, glory to the newborn King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries on this Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Papuri sa Dios, papuri sa Dios, papuri sa Dios sa kaita asan at sa lupa'y kapayapaan at sa lupa'y kapayapaan sa mga tao di na sa 
sanlibutan. Maawa ka, maawa ka sa Kristo ang Panginoon kasama ng Espiritu Santo sa kadakilaan ng Diyos Ama Amen ng Diyos Ama Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This beautiful prayer was used in the past when the priest blessed the people. On a New Year's Day, we invoke God's name upon ourselves for the year ahead. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us so may may your way be known upon earth among all nations your salvation 
May God bless us in His mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in His mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear Him. May God bless us in His mercy. When the fullness of time had come, the Son of God became man, born of a woman. Mary, from whom Jesus took His humanity, is the glory of our human race. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about the child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and pra praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Father. Kung di sana COVID, siguro yung mga mahilig sa mga artista, would have gone to the Metro Manila Film Festival para makita ang kanilang mga favorite artista in person at natutuwa sila pag kinakawayan sila. Mas matutuwa siguro sila pag nilapitan sila at kinamayan. Siguro mas matutuwa pa sila pag sila ay nakatanggap ng autograph ng kanilang favorite na artista. At huwag na nating isipin kung paano sila magpuri kung ang, ang artista na kanilang minimiti ay magsabi, 
Oy, punta ako sa inyo ha, magbisita ako, magmeryenda ako doon sa inyo. Sino bang hindi matutuwa noon? Sobra siguro. Picture dito, picture doon, uh, Facebook dito, Facebook doon. Sobra. Binisita ako ng isang artista, kumain kami, pinakain ko ng palabok. Siguro that will make our day. And yet, my dear brothers and sisters, ito rin ay isang tao, katulad natin, sikat lang siya dahil siya ay artista. Ang ating kapistahan ngayon ay sobrang sobra pa. Hindi lamang Metro Manila Film Festival, kundi tatlo-tatlong fiesta na nagkasabay. Unang-una, Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, the motherhood, the divine motherhood of Mary. Second, it is the new year, no? New civil year. Of course, iba-ibang mga taon. Merong liturgical year na nag-umpisa ng unang linggo ng Adviento. Merong academic year na mag-umpisa iba-iba. June, July, August. Merong fiscal year na iba rin ang umpisa. Ngayon ay pagbati natin ng Happy New Year, it is Happy New Civic Year. Pero the greeting could also be Happy Solemnity of the Blessed Virgin as Mother of God. And Happy Day of Prayer for Peace. Tatlo-tatlong fiesta. Solemnity of Mary and Mother of God, New Civil Year, and Day of Prayer for World Peace. Kaya napakalaking fiesta. At hindi lamang isang artista na bumisita sa ating tahanan, kundi mga kapatid, and the Word of God dwelt among us. God sent His Son to be born of a woman. Sobrang privilege ng tao. Ang Diyos ay nagiging tao. Hindi upang maranasan niya at malaman niya kung paano ang maging tao. Alam na niya iyon. Kundi ipakita niya sa atin ang kanyang pakikiramay sa atin. Ang, ating, ang, ang kanyang pakikibaka kasama natin, kasabay sa atin. Ang kanyang pagpapakita na siya ay mababang loob. No? He became obedient even unto death and death on a cross. Can you imagine? Hindi lamang siya bumisita sa ating tahanan, kundi ang Diyos ay naging tao. Ang Panginoon, ang Hari, ay naging servant, naging alipin. Ang immortal God became or took on a mortal body and brought this mortal body to the cross so that it would die for our salvation. At siya ay naging tao, ibig sabihin, nasilang sa isang tao, si Maria. He so sympathized with the human condition that he became a man born of woman. And this woman is Mary. And Mary is what we celebrate today as the mother of God. Sapagkat hindi lamang tao ang isinilang kay Maria, kundi Diyos, Diyos na tunay, taong tunay. What does this tell us, my dear brothers and sisters? This tells us the tremendous love that God has for us. To be one of us, and not just one of us, but to be a slave. And not just to be a slave, 
but to bring his body to the cross to be crucified for us. Grabe pala ang dignidad ng isang tao. That's why St. Paul would always be amazed. Jesus died for me. Jesus gave his life for me. So it means we have to respect our dignity. We have to appreciate our dignity. We have to thank God for this tremendous dignity. And not only that, not only our own dignity, but we have to see everyone else also with that dignity because for them also, Jesus died. Itong katotohanan ng ito, mga kapatid, ay kailangan nating pagnilayan sapagkat maraming beses, hindi natin naisa sa buhay ito kung minsan pinuput down natin ang ating dignidad sa pamagitan ng paggawa ng mga bagay na hindi makatao. Paminsan-minsan, hindi natin ginagalang ang dignidad ng iba. Hindi natin nire-respeto ang iba. Hindi natin tinitingnan sa kanila ang isang taong worthy for Christ to die for. Maisip lang natin itong taong pumasok kanina na naka t-shirt na yelo na marumi. No? Ano kaya ang iniisip natin? Eh bakit naman ito? Hindi nagbihis. Dapat naman umalis ito. Yun ba ang iniisip natin? Or are we, are, were we trying to see that person for him also? Jesus died. Napakalaki po ang mga consequences nito. Pag si Jesus ay nag-alay ng kanyang buhay para sa ating lahat, hindi lamang para sa kokonte, hindi lamang para sa mga banal, hindi lamang para sa mga tumatanggap sa kanya, para sa lahat. Kung si Jesus ay nag-alay ng kanyang buhay para sa lahat, ano kaya ang magiging paningin natin sa ibang mga tao? Kung talagang tutuusin, tatapatin natin, bibigyan ng kahulugan, tunay na kahulugan. Ito ang ginagawa ni Maria. Nung pagpunta ng mga pastol doon sa sabsaban at sinabi, sa kanya at kay Jose, kung sino mang andoon, pa kasi sinabi doon, they had been told, told them by the shepherds. So, kung ito ay pinagnilaya ni Maria, itong mga nangyayari, itong mga sinasabi ng mga pastol, pinagnilaya ni Maria, sinabi ng Evangelio, Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Ito rin ang dapat nating gagawin, mga kapatid. Every day of the year at makita natin, makilala natin, at pasalamatan natin na tayo ay binigyan ng pagkaampun ng Diyos. Tayo ay mga anak ng adopted children of God. Tayo ay binigyan ni Jesus ng kanyang ina para maging ina rin natin. At kung matulara natin si Jesus at si Maria na ang motor, ang motive ang motibasyon, ang umiiral sa kanilang buhay ay pagmamahal. Doon tayo magkakaroon ng kapayapaan. Sapagkat ang kapayapaan 
ay bunga ng pagmamahal. Hindi po ito bunga ng kawalang buhay gaya ng kapayapaan ng sementeryo. Hindi po ito kapayapaan ng isang ceasefire between warring parties na pansaglit lamang, pansamantala lamang, huwag munang magbakbakan, pero pagkatapos ng Christmas o pagkatapos ng period na itinalaga, bakbakan uli. Ito ay tunay na kapayapaan na galing sa isang pusong nagmamahal. Hindi ibig sabihin na pag ikaw ay tapat kay Kristo, ikaw ay walang problema, walang pagdurusa, walang pagtitiis. Nakikita natin sa mga buhay ng mga banal na the closer you are to God, the more you suffer. Wag lang dahil sa mga bisyo mo. Iba yun. No? But Jesus already said, no servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Magkaroon man tayo ng ganoong persecution dahil sa ating katapatan kay Kristo, mapanatag pa rin ang ating kalooban. Mapayapa pa rin ang ating kalooban sapagkat tayo ay tunay na nagmamahal. Yung mga taong gumagawa ng kasalanan, yung mga taong ang kanilang buhay ay makasalanan, maybe they can try to buy peace. Maybe they can try to, be, to buy tranquility. Maybe they are in a place where they feel that they are secure. They are away from criminal uh, activities. Akala nila, akala nila physically safe sila. Pero they are not at peace interiorly. Wala silang tunay na kapayapaan. Mga kapatid, sa araw na ito, pagnilaya natin at tanggapin at pasalamatan na tayo ay anak ng Diyos. Si Jesus ay naging isa sa atin. Si Jesus ay nasilang sa isang katulad natin na si Maria. Sapagkat tayo ay mahal na mahal sa Diyos. At ang ating pagkatao ay kinuha, inasyum ng Panginoon upang dalhin sa langit. Andoon na si Maria, assumed body and soul into heaven, tanda para sa atin na tayo rin, pag tayo ay umibig sa kanyang anak, gaya ng dapat natin gawin, tayo rin ay magkaroon ng gantimpala. At ito ang kahulugan ng ating dakilang kapistahan ngayon. Hindi lamang isang artista na puma pumunta sa ating bahay at nagipagmeryenda sa atin. Hindi lamang isang artista na nagbigay sa atin ng autograph, kundi isang Diyos na who dwelt among us according to the theological language of St. John who dwelt among us, He became one of us and took our humanity to the cross so that because of His sacrifice on the cross, our humanity becomes beautiful in the sight of His Father. Amen? Amen. Let us, Let us all stand. stand. Pagdating natin sa mga words for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. Let us pause muna. Let us kneel down. And then say the words, kneeling down and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Pause and then stand up again. Together, let us proclaim. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. Let us all kneel. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. Let us all stand. And rose again on the third day in, in accordance, accordance with, with the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and, and is seated at the, at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The new year ushers in new challenges and opportunities, as well as new hopes for a more lasting peace. Let us pray to the Father that the Prince of Peace born of Mary, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in our lives. We will pray, God of peace, listen to our prayer. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and deacons. May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign. We pray, God, God of, of peace, peace listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer, that we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake. God of peace, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations. May they value dialogue more than dissent and promote restorative justice so that people may live in tranquility and work for their advancement. We pray. God, God of, of peace, peace listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those persecuted because of religion, class, race, or color. May they find support and comfort from those who work for justice and peace and in their community. We pray. God, God of, of peace, peace, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the souls of our brothers and sisters. May the Lord grant them the reward of eternal life. We also pray for the souls of Manuel Datu, Restituta Malasarde, Emma Quintano, and the souls in the purgatory. We pray. God of, God of peace, peace, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God, God of, of peace, peace, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble supplications. Help us to spend our whole life in your service and to bring peace to our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
us all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, in praise, bless and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he sent a blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Augustine, St. Ezekiel Moreno, St. Magdalene of Nagasaki, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Broderick our administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us all stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. this day Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. Magsiupo po tayong lahat. sa bugaw na langit kay himpin ang hangin wari umibig sa kapayapaan ng buong daimig kaya Just. 
sa sungkatauhan ang gabi payapa lahat ay tahimik pati mga tala sa bugaw na Let us all stand. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary mother of your son and mother of the church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Magsipo po tayo sandali para sa ilang mga paalala. Ang susunod po na ating misa ay sa ganap na ikaanim at kalahati ng gabi. Pakipaalalahanan po ang inyong mga pamilya, kamag-anak o kaibigan na ang araw po na ito ay holiday of obligation Uh, bilang mga Kristiyano-Katoliko, tayo po ay kailangang magsimba. Maraming salamat po. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, Grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Happy New Year. Thanks be to God and a Happy New Year. Ang Pasko ay suma Ng magagandang himig Dahil 
Ay magbigayan at magbuhat ngayon kahit hindi Pasko ay magbigayan. 